in this problem. I need to solve for what x and y are equal to. I need to find the value of each of the angles in this problem. To solve this problem, I'm first going to realize that these two angles over here are supplementary because they're along a straight line. That means that they add to 180 degrees. So if I add both of these together and set them equal to 180 degrees, I can maybe use that to solve for x. So let me do that. I'm going to say that 3x minus 6 plus x plus 2 is equal to 180 degrees. And then if I condense this, 3x plus x is just 4x. Minus 6 plus 2 is just minus 4. So I'm just going to have 4x minus 4 is equal to 180 degrees. Just add 4 to both sides. And now I'll have 4x is just equal to 184 degrees. So just divide by 4 to solve for x. And 184 divided by 4 is equal to 46. So x is equal to 46. So now what I can do is I can find these two measurements here. So x plus 2, and that's very easy. 46 plus 2 is just 48. And then to find what 3x minus 6 is equal to, I could plug in 46 into that equation and see what it is, but I could also do something easier. I know that these are supplementary angles, right? So all I know is that 180 minus 48 must get me whatever this angle is. So that's another easy way you can do that. And 180 minus 48 is equal to 132 degrees. So I can just erase all of this here. And I know that this is just 132 degrees. Now, what is angle Y equal to? Well, know that this angle over here and Y down there are alternate exterior angles. Because of that, we know that they must be equal to each other. Therefore, Y is equal to 48 degrees. So just like that, we found what X and Y are equal to, and we found every angle in this problem. So we're done.